Hey guys, thanks for dropping in for another Diecast and Diecast review. Uh, looking at another one of these uh, Brookfield Collectors Guild uh, slash action truck and trailer combinations. Um, this set here is the 2002 Kevin Harvick Good Wrench set. Um, comes with the uh, dually truck, the uh, enclosed gooseneck trailer, and uh, race car. Um, not. Uh, Start with the die cast of the car. Not uh, not a detailed car. This is what I would call like a sandbox car. Um, like the cars, uh, th this would be comparable to like the action cars you used to be able to get at like Walmart. Uh, I had a bunch of these as a kid that I actually played with in the sandbox. I made a uh, racetrack and played with these cars. They're uh, low detail. Uh, the whole, All the interior stuff is all the same color. Um, no separate uh, black seat or black window net or anything like that. Um, so cheaper wheels and tires, no, uh, nothing as far as underbody detail or anything like that. So pretty, uh, pretty simple with the car, but the trailer and truck are really cool. Um, as you can see the trailer and the truck and the car share the same paint scheme. Um, to the best of my knowledge, this was never an actual show car, uh, trailer. Um, this was, uh, just one of these sets that they did. They did all kinds of Dale Jr. ones. Uh, they had a bunch of Dale Earnhardt ones and then they had uh, a bunch of the Hendrick guys. I know there was, um, Terry Labonte and a bunch of Jeff Gordon ones and, uh, whatever else, but they, uh, did these and they, they are really cool. I wish, I wish they, uh, kept going with it, but um there this one here this particular combination pretty easy to find uh picked this up on ebay just got this actually and um the only i've had a bunch of these in my on my wish list on ebay and they were all more than what i wanted to spend but uh this guy that had this one uh the other day uh marked it way down added free shipping and i think he just wanted to get it out of his hair get it off his shelf and um so i snatched it up but uh the truck is pretty cool um got good wrench service on the door uh 29 like i say that graphic that uh, matches the race car and then we got uh, snap on sylvania oreo uh coca-cola purdue hershey's van camp beans uh team real tree ac delco sonic the we care logo and then good wrench 29 good wrench dot com and 29 on the tailgate there um got the 29 and uh kevin harvick above the door and good wrench on the hood uh basically just is exactly like the race car um all the same sponsors and everything same look to the trailer here um got kevin harvick's uh autograph on the back of the trailer rcr up on the front got good wrench service on the on the top of the trailer there and then uh good wrench service and rcr on the uh the back gate um oh they got some stuff to clear full of newspaper these will hold uh these will hold one uh usually one car um they've got uh in another video i had explained what they had put in these trailers but i didn't actually take it out and this guy for some reason took it out this is in the middle of these trailers and what it is is just a block of die cast material because these trailers feel really light and chintzy, like without this in there. This goes in about the middle of the trailer. So usually you can fit one car in here. I don't know if you can fit two cars if you take that out. I have no idea why he took this out, actually. That's, I'm just learning this right now on the video. Uh, as I took that newspaper out, this was in there wrapped up. So I'll put this back in. But um, this has got some weight to it. You know, the truck, it's die cast, so it's heavy. The car is heavy, it's die cast. Uh, the trailer is all plastic, though, so it feels real light, like a light chintzy toy or something. And so they put this uh, in there to add weight to it, and they put it up in front of the wheels. So when you do, I'm not showing you very well here, they put it in front of the wheels about right here. So when you do put a car in here, the car doesn't offset the back of the trailer and unhook it from the truck this die cast piece stays in here as kind of a counterweight so it serves two purposes um i you know this isn't something i would say i mean a kid could play with it like i've said in the videos before um 
uh, of the, the other truck and trailer that I did, but they're kind of, I mean, this back gate has just got two little plastic tabs. It'd be easy to break it if a kid was playing with it. But you know, if you're, if you're careful with it, you could play with it definitely for maybe some older kids or whatever. Um, they could play with it and, and be just fine. So anyway, I, uh, won't ramble on here anymore. Uh, I got a few more of these and I, I had promised before that I was going to do some more of them. Um, but, uh, just hadn't got around to it. Just been doing cars lately on the, on the videos, but, um, I'll get some more, uh, get some more of these out and, uh, bring them down and do some videos and share some more of them. Um, got some more stuff coming down the pipeline. Got, some older stuff that, uh, not necessarily old, too old, but one, one of them is, uh, I got, uh, Jamie McMurray, uh, 2010 Daytona 500 winter coming. And I'm going to do a video on that. Cause that's really cool. Uh, been waiting to get that in my collection. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, I've gone on long enough guys. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.